Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen and this is my weekly grocery haul for my family of 13. But first, coffee. Here's this week's dinner menu that we made together as a family. From there, I expanded to add in what we'll have for breakfast and lunch every day to make our grocery list separated out by areas of the store. I am at Walmart today. I did a Wegmans haul a week ago. I did a Costco haul a few days ago. I will post the links to both of those in the description of this video. And today we are at Walmart. It's Halloween this week. So I knew I wanted to get like halloween sprinkles some random stuff like that that i know walmart has i'm not sure um if wegmans would have had it or not so here we are let's go oh and side note it is pouring rain i don't know why i didn't grab a coat but i didn't so i'm also going to look on like the clearance rack and see if i can find a coat so i don't have to load three carts of groceries in the pouring rain without a coat because like you know i actually did my hair today uh, why did i not grab a coat Probably because it's 6 a.m. and I need to drink more coffee. Little wet, little dreary. Start. Start with the toiletries. Yeah. Cart one. Deshaun said a toothbrush. Oh, that me. Let me get James a new one too. Anytime my kids are sick, I try and replace their toothbrush. Okay, James needed more body wash. He likes this exfoliating deep clean. Also didn't write this down, but we need more Vaseline. I'm out of the Twins One Hair Lotion. I ordered more on Amazon, but I just wanted to see if they had any here. Okay, this is similar. So we'll use this until the Amazon order comes in. All right, Brie is out of makeup wipes. Is it this one? Yeah. Oh, they were generous. I just, they change like the look of these things and then it confuses me. Get some eye cream. All right, I gotta find cotton balls. <laughs> okay, they're right in front of me. Oh, well. A few bags of like your box. Get that up at a midweek call, but we got this, we got this, we got this. Let's go back and see if we can find toilet bowl cleaner. Wegmans didn't have it, and Costco didn't have it. I'm gonna weave through the women's section on my way back to the cleaning supplies. How cute is this dress? Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, stop getting distracted. Yeah. 
I didn't see anything, but I'll glance in the men's section too because I don't really care what gender it is as long as it keeps me dry and warm. I'm a function over fashion person. Okay, nothing. We're just gonna go with this. Oh, this is not a hoodie? No, I need a hoodie. There we go. Hoodies. That'll do. And it's in our school color, so I can wear it to football games and wrestling matches and cross-country races. We got a bunch of paper towels, toilet paper, all that stuff at Costco this week. cleaner oh my gosh okay they have it why has this been impossible to find okay let's get a bunch yeah, we're all good with these two sections uh let's move on to the non-perishables next I'm actually gonna move this down near food. I'm looking for white grape juice. White grape peach. Don't they have just white? Oh yeah, there we go. White grape. Okay. I need this. And this for our Halloween punch. We're also out of lemon juice. is getting his wisdom teeth out soon and he wanted pineapple juice. Supposedly it helps with healing. Oh no. What? Why did I not know they had um, Waterloo here? Look at it's like hiding behind this. I have never seen it. I love this brand of sparkling water. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Yes, please. Y'all coming with me. watermelon that gives me reflux all right we'll just stick with the grape and the black cherry i got gatorade and bottled water at costco good there okay we got pineapple juice we got lemon juice lime juice we got i thought i wrote down no i didn't write oh yeah i did juice. <laughs> that meant the juice for the punch. Okay, let's get Josh's grapefruit soda. I'm going to grab this while I'm walking past it. Kids love these. Bites at Costco. Yep, oatmeal cream pies for Deshaun. I wanted to get 
donuts for Halloween. brown sugar oatmeal that I eat most days for breakfast. This is my go-to food right now. Alright, so this is like the Halloween section they usually have. I'm looking for Halloween sprinkles, but I don't see them. can do is I have some of these but it's the Halloween ones and then there's Halloween sprinkles on top I'll use those mm -hmm. like I said Christmas it's already Christmas sprinkle season okay I need food coloring said this but I bought um muffin not muffin waffle mix and pancake mix on Amazon. Alright let's get some muffin mixes from Muffin Board Monday. forgot that Walmart carries Hungry Jack because that's what I get so I got it on Amazon already coming I know I used up the pumpkin this week so I want to grab more of that I like to always have pumpkin in our baking cabinet chips at Costco and my kids went through them like crazy so okay Josh and I ate some too <laughs> so I gotta get more of those okay it's just looking at this does has anyone tried sea moss yet I just bought some on Amazon but I've been too scared to try it my hair has not grown in like years it's just not grown so anyways, I saw that it helps your hair grow, so I was gonna try it, but I'm too scared. So somebody tell me what it tastes like. Okay, this is what I use for chicken pot pies that I'm making this week.
this stuff. Let me consolidate it. Stroganoff for crock pot night. I got the recipe from I think dinner at the zoo. I can't remember. Um, anyways, I need egg noodles. Uh oh. Uh, nobody's saying that. Oh, it's just a magnet. Perfect size for homemade mac and cheese. Actually, I'm gonna put it over there. And we're just gonna need some sauce, and I think we're good on card one. We'll start another card. We have fit a lot into this card. for a recipe. We are not doing Taco Tuesday this week because Halloween is on Tuesday and we always order a bunch of pizza because there's friends over and stuff and it's just easier to serve everybody pizza while we're trying to get ready to go trick or treating. Okay, let's go leave this up front. some Halloween candy. We don't usually get trick-or-treaters because we're on a main busy road, so I just feel like I should have some just in case, though. Cart two. One year we had, like, a group of trick-or-treaters show up, and, you know, we weren't prepared because we didn't think we'd get anyone, so we didn't get any candy, so we just gave them, like, cereal bars and packs of gum. <laughs> Like, what the heck is this? Okay, what is the superior Halloween candy? I'm thinking this looks pretty darn good. Yeah, I'm not gonna go with these. I 
one is like slightly bigger than this, but this will do.
come back and three pounds. Okay. Five pounders it is. This is quite good. or clementines or is it just the exact same thing oh we got orange peppers and I bet the salad is right here yes it is Well, yeah, those two are making me call list. I got some apples at Costco, but I just got one box. It's not really enough for an entire week. Um, yeah. So we're gonna get some apples here too. to snack lately. We had a vegetable garden in the summer, so they were like always available, but that season has ended. Let's go back to buying them. Most days I'm eating lunch at about 2 p.m. as I go to pick up the girls from school. So I grab my tomatoes and some, got these ranch cups on Amazon in like bulk. And that's my lunch. Oatmeal for breakfast, tomatoes for lunch. Okay, I gotta get onions. Do they have like a giant bag of onions?
this is caramel. It's like all together in a thing. Can I get those to pack in the kids' lunches? they moved the bread to the back of the store it used to be right here which makes sense because you want the bread at the top of your cart not getting smushed but now they moved it back here all the way back here I feel like they should ask large families <laughs> how to organize the food in the store we're getting the multiple carts. We know which order we need things in. We need bread last. Put it by the front. One, two. I don't have sandwiches on the schedule all that much this week. Um, but as I've said, oh, you know what? I like the square loaves better. Um, my teenagers often make themselves a little midnight snacky and their go-to is sandwiches and now Dash has started doing that. So, stock up on bread. We are all out. I'm gonna get five loaves. Yeah, five loaves of bread. Sandwich bread. Let me get some bagels. Get about a dozen. Again, this is just a, something they grab sometimes to eat. I got Nutella and peanut butter at Costco, so we're all good there. We're out of Hawaiian rolls. We're out of pizza crust. Um, well, the pizza crust that we like. I don't see it here either, although I think it might be in a different section here. Like a random pizza section. And I need hamburger buns. And I need hamburger buns for chicken patties.
I'll just grab some pizzas to make. I think I'll do that. We've got multiple people that spend the night on Saturdays, it seems like.
box. We get one percent green cap.
rather have leftovers than not enough. And football season is over because the boys lost this weekend. So, no more team dinners. So, we'll have everyone home on Thursdays. to go with the ravioli bait. Sausage links. ice cream sundaes. Kids have been wanting Neapolitan and look at that. I have it in the big thing. There's the ravioli. Just remembered Deshaun's been eating these lately so I should get more of those. Consolidated it down to two carts. Let's drive up and load it in. Got my new hoodie on. Okay, this is our 15 passenger van. It's a Ford Transit. Um, I forgot Josh took two of the back seats out, so I'm gonna load some stuff in the trunk. Normally there's like no trunk space in these things, but when you take out some of the seats, there is, it's a mess. Which is good. We'll put the rest in the back seats.
I decided I'm gonna grab some bagels and donuts to go with breakfast since we have a house full of additional teens. Gonna do Brugger's drive through for bagels and I placed a Dunkin' Mobile order for some donuts and then I'll still make the corned beef that was on the meal plan with eggs because that's what I feel like eating. I'm sure some other kids will eat it too. Today. Hi, would I be able to get a dozen plain bagels, please? Okay, what was that? A dozen plain bagels. Yeah, any cream cheese? Yeah, I'll grab a tub of cream cheese, please. Just one? Yeah. Yeah, anything else? Nope. And what was the cream cheese? Plain. Please. Right, beautiful flower. Okay, I got a dozen sprinkle donuts and I got, they only let you get six of the spider donuts. Well, let's see. <gasps> They're so cute. And let me show you the receipts before I forget. Um, at Walmart, it's usually two transactions for me because it maxes you out at a certain number of items or times you out. I'm not really sure, but I typically have an order around $800. What was this? Um, eight. Whoa, 880 and then there's like a short order to finish up uh, whatever didn't make it on the first order which was a 90. and that is it for today i'm gonna let you guys go here but thank you for coming shopping at walmart with me you are strong you are beautiful you are loved you belong and i'm so proud of you i'll see you next time